Are you often like can't decide what stock to pick? You know that generally the market is probably heading up in the future in the next few months, but you just do not know exactly which stock that you want to pick. Fear not, because then there's this product which is called Exchange Traded Funds. Over the weekend, I was talking to my friends about investing in Hong Kong, in China, and then you know they asked me what stock to pick. Actually, it's easy. You could just buy a basket of component stocks, and then that save you a lot of trouble. Now, today in this video, I would like to talk about Hang Seng Tech ETF, which is Hang Seng Tech Exchange Traded Funds. Is like you know you're buying a unit trust, and then this unit trust is listed in the stock exchange, and you could. Just buy this particular fund as if you are buying a stocks, but it's just not one stock, but it's just a fund that make up of like various stocks, and these stocks track very closely to the index. If you like to also receive timely updates, remember to scan this QR code, which is for Telegram, because I'll be posting updates whenever you know there are new updates to my videos or whenever I see new things that might be of interest to you. All right, let's move on to exchange traded funds for the Hang Seng tag. An ETF is like a mix and match investment package. Imagine it as a basket that holds lots of different things you might want to invest in, like different stocks or mix of stocks and bonds. You can buy this basket on the stock market just as if that you are buying a stock. When you buy this basket or ETF, you are getting a tiny piece of everything inside. It's like trying a bit of every dessert at a buffet without ordering them all separately. The first. Hang Seng Tech ETF is this, which is by iShares, and the code is three zero six seven. That's the one that's listed in Hong Kong dollar, and the one that's listed in US dollar is nine zero six seven. Now, two things you have to take note when you are buying ETF. One would be the management fee. Now, why is this important? Because when you are buying stocks, of course, you have to pay for your brokerage fees, platform fees, etc. That's taken for granted. You still have to pay this in the ETF. But on top of this, ETF has this extra charge, which is the management fees. It's as if that you are paying for the、um, whoever is managing this particular ETF, right? So you have to pay these management fees, and of course, the lower the better. So three zero six seven is charging per annum zero point two five percent. So which I think that this is one of the management fees that's on the lower side. Then the second thing you have to take note is that how closely this ETF tracks the index. Of course, we are following the index, which is HSTAG. Then we need to know, for example, how closely it tracks into the、uh, index. Then we need to have a look into the holdings. Okay, this、uh, ETF, right, is tracking very、uh, closely. To the HSI, so with first, which is the Li Auto, then Xiaomi, Huaishou, Alibaba, Meituan, Tencent, JD, NetEase, Baidu, Xpeng, being the top ten. Now the weightage, it's it's almost very similar to the index as well. Okay, so this is just like a summary, right? So that's the first ETF. Okay, so a few things you need to take note of, and you can just scroll down、uh, in terms of the ETF page. The second ETF, which is this one here, which is three zero three two. So this is the Hang Seng Tech ETF. So same thing、uh, as I mentioned. Let's take a look into the、uh, charges, which is the management fees. Okay, so the management fees here is zero point five five percent. You realize that this is higher than. Uh, what's being charged in the iShares? As I said, right, you want to take the ones with a lower management fees, and then、um, you also want to know the bot lot size. For example, this bot lot size is two hundred units. Now it means that minimum you need to buy two hundred units. So you can only buy two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, one thousand. You can't buy like seven hundred. So minimum lot size will be two hundred units. Okay, and then lastly, you also want to have a look in terms of how closely it tracks、um, the main index. Okay, so there is this part here, which is this tracking difference. Okay, as you can see, that tracking is less than one percent. So this is actually good. And also, you want to know the holdings. Okay, it doesn't gives you the holdings in terms of the highest to the lowest because this sort by alphabetical order, which I thought you know it's not very ideal. So what I did is to go inside and download a list of. Uh, the holdings and then sort that out in terms of percentage. Okay, so same thing you can see: Li Auto, Xiaomi, Huaishou, Alibaba, Meituan, Tencent, JD, NetEase, Baidu, Xpeng, SMIC, Lenovo, and Hire. They are the top 
few top 10 I would think right top 10 in terms of the uh, holdings which track very closely to the index of course you can also tap into this uh, two times leverage product which is Hang Seng Tech two times leverage products now it's important for you to understand what is this leverage product let me just briefly read to you the key thing here okay this is the uh, sub fund of the leverage invest series so what they do is that the product will invest in a swap based synthetic replication strategy by investing directly in swap that will give you that two times performance okay and i think that this product is mostly suitable all right for short-term investment it's it's not really for long term so you see the product is not intended for holding longer than one day so do remember that of course the management fees would be a lot more higher let me just get you the management fees the management fees is actually 1.6 Okay, 1.6% versus what we saw just now at 0.55 and then the iShares was at, let me just check again, iShares management fees was at 0.25. This 3 ETF will give you a brief idea of how you can tap into the opportunities in the Hang Seng tech. Should you think that, for example, the Hong Kong market is reversing, by no means they are financial advice, but it does give you an brief idea if you want to invest in a basket of stocks and you don't want to stock pick then you might want to consider the etf and thanks for watching and i see you in my next video